the last one, and I think the most important one for our time, is that he said one of the things about the people of Shakawa is that they are shameless. They have no haya. We're living in a culture that being immodest, being shameless is actually praised. A lot of our young people are following people on Instagram and on Snapchat and on all of these social media, shameless people. And they think that it is cool. They think that this is good, but they don't know that this is the greatest trick shaitan ever had under his sleeve and he unraveled it and he opened this master plan in our time. He's been trying to do that all his life. The Prophet wasallam said, Al-Haya min al-Iman. That Haya is from Iman. Modesty is from faith. In other words, if you have Haya, you have Iman. If Haya goes in a hadith, he said, your Iman goes with it. They're intertwined, they're connected together. You can't separate modesty and faith. And the trick of shaitan is that he doesn't want to take your deen away because he knows you'll fight him. But if he takes your modesty away, he knows that the deen goes with it. Inna li kulli deen in khuluq, the Prophet wasallam said, every religion, every deen had a characteristic. Every deen, every religion that came, every deen, every prophet has brought a message and it had a characteristics. And that characteristic, that dominant characteristic of my religion, Al-Islam, is Haya. Modesty is the dominant characteristics of this religion. And if we have that, we have faith and our Iman will be strong. And if we don't, our Iman will go out with our Haya.